Robotics are nothing new. From Will Smith's Academy Award nominee film, iRobot's Sunny character, playing the protagonist role for helping decommission the powerful bad robots, from getting rogue to recently released Megan Rolls as a spoiled pretentious robot, is all the depiction of what we call the future concept. But the future is here, and robots manifest as one of the human's reliable sources these days, from doing commercial and industrial jobs to virtually helping us get our jobs done in seconds. The perception of deeming robots to be our slaves is long gone. They used to work side by side with us, but now their capabilities and credibility have knocked human socks off. Their technological advancement has gone through the roof in this decade, and they are now seen as the direct competitor of humans. And the companies who are giving them these technological benefits are continuously striving toward making the robot even more indomitable in all sectors such as agriculture, aerial communication, infrastructure, and many more. Among them, we can name a few, like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Xiaomi, and of course, Tesla. All of these companies have already shown some real practical robots that can do almost everything a human can do. After this, you can either be very optimistic about robots taking the brunt of your regular difficulties, or pessimistic about losing the jobs to them to get physically hurt. Whatever your thoughts are, We'll here break it down all to talk about the fast-growing world of humanoid robots. Are they actually going to supersede us? Stay put. The very first idea is rooted in some ancient myths. All civilizations wanted to create lifelike machines for thousands of years. In ancient Greece, myths like Pygmalion made people dream how to bring statues to life. Around 3000 BC, Ancient Egyptians made water clocks inspired by human-shaped figures that would strike a bell. Later, in the 15th century, Leonardo da Vinci designed a mechanical knight that could move, one of the earliest ideas of a humanoid robot. By the 18th century, inventors like Jacques de Vaucanson made impressive machines, like a duck that could eat and drink. Fast forward to the 20th century, robots started taking on more practical roles, the term robot actually came from this old 1921 play called Rossum's Universal Robots by Carol Capek. Unimate showed up as the first industrial robot handling the heavy lifting in factories. By the 1960s, things started getting fancier with the Stanford Arm, a robot that could move smoothly and precisely, almost like it had a mind of its own. Not long after that, there was Shaky, an AI robot that could roam around, figure things out, and get stuff done without much hand-holding. Basically, humanoid robots became ubiquitous in the early 2000s. One of the best examples is Honda's Asimo robot, which can walk, run, and even interact with people. Around the same time, robots began assimilating more into our daily lives. In factories, collaborative robots, or cobots, started working alongside humans, helping with tasks while ensuring safety with their collision avoidance features. In warehouses, Robots changed the game by moving goods efficiently, as seen in places like Amazon. Today, companies like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and Xiaomi are taking robotics to the next level. Boston Dynamics has robots like Atlas and Spot, which can perform almost the same tasks as humans or animals. Agility Robotics created Digit, a robot designed specifically to help with warehouse work. Xiaomi has focused on making smart home robots that use AI to simplify everyday tasks. Then there's the Tesla Optimus, a robot that created a shockwave across the industry with its appearance and capabilities. The concept was first revealed during Tesla's AI Day in August 2021. By September 2022, they already had a working prototype. Sure, it could only walk and handle some basic tasks, but even that was enough to get people becoming more complacent about its direction toward the impossible. In December 2023, Tesla took things to the next level with Optimus Gen 2. This version wasn't just about looking futuristic, it could actually fold laundry and even do yoga poses. It felt like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but Tesla was proving they were serious about making robots that could handle everyday tasks. Moving on to the recent We Robot event, Tesla blew everyone away again with Optimus Gen 3. This latest version is the most human-like yet, standing about 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighing 138 pounds. One of its coolest upgrades is the hands, which now have 22 degrees of freedom. 
basically twice as nimble as the last model. That means it can handle objects with precision, making it perfectly subtle for practical tasks. Under the hood, Optimus Gen 3 runs on Tesla's AI5 hardware, making it smarter and more energy efficient. This isn't just a robot that follows a script anymore. It can move through tough environments on its own, avoid obstacles, and even make video maps to teach other robots. And for the first time, it's got microphones and speakers, so it can actually talk to you. The big idea here isn't just about building a flashy robot for show. Tesla wants Optimus to be genuinely helpful, whether it's on factory floors or in your home. Elon Musk has even hinted at a future where robots like Optimus make life more affordable by boosting productivity and cutting costs. And with a price range between $20,000 and $330,000, Tesla aims to make this tech accessible to a lot of people. Originally, Elon Musk hoped to have Optimus ready by the end of 2024. Now, it looks like small-scale production will begin in 2025, with broader availability for the public expected by 2026. However, Tesla is diving headfirst into a seriously competitive robotics game, and the players out there aren't messing around. Boston Dynamics, Honda, Agility Robotics, Xiaomi, and Amazon Robotics have already made their mark, and each one brings something unique to the table. For example, Boston Dynamics has robots like Atlas and Spot. These robots are seriously impressive, moving with ease through tough environments like they're built for it. They're already being used in places like logistics and construction, tackling jobs that honestly seem like they belong in a sci-fi movie. Then there's Honda's Asimo, one of the first big humanoid robots to catch attention. You can't exactly buy one, but it became famous for walking smoothly and interacting with people in a way that felt supernatural. Agility Robotics is another big name, especially with their robot Digit, which is built to handle packages and move around effortlessly in human-friendly spaces. Then there's Xiaomi. They're focused on smart home gadgets, like the Mi Robot Vacuum, instead of chasing after the humanoid robot trend. What they're really good at is creating affordable, super useful devices for everyday life. And let's not forget Amazon Robotics. After they bought Kiva Systems, they totally changed the game in warehouses. Their robots have sped up logistics and made everything way more efficient. Now, the big question is, what's driving this big robot race? It's all about smarter AI, smoother movement, and creating robots that don't just get the job done, but actually fit into our lives. Companies are working hard to make these machines more user-friendly and practical. Tesla Optimus isn't just a cool gadget to show off. It's built to be genuinely helpful, no matter whether you're at home, in factories, or elsewhere. And that practicality could end up being its biggest advantage. It's true that robots have made a lot of progress, but there are still some big limitations that prevent them from completely replacing humans. When a company makes a robot, they are destined to execute specific tasks. Because their programming languages make them do those tasks effectively, but never expect them to do unexpected tasks when something unforeseen happens. It's simple because they are not programmed to do something for which they are not instructed to do. For example, if a robot in a factory only moves one giant machine from one place to another, and if suddenly one of those machines falls on a factory worker, it won't know what to do and how to rescue the person. That might be a task of another robot, but this machine handling robot has nothing to do to subside the impact because it wasn't trained for, it might not know how to respond, which could lead to severe damage or injury. Another major issue is that robots can't think critically or understand emotions. They can follow instructions and complete tasks, but when it comes to making any intentional and rational judgment, they fail to comply with basic human emotions. For say, in the previous example, the robot wouldn't stop switching the machine from one place to another if someone got injured right at the center point of that exchange of machinery, because it doesn't have the feeling that it must stop to let the injured person take a breath. A robot can't offer that same personal touch or thoughtful decision-making that humans bring. Then comes the price. Robots aren't cheap. The cost to buy and set up a robot system can be quite high, especially for smaller businesses. Plus, robots require regular maintenance, updates, and training for the people working with them. And this ongoing cost can make robots a financial burden for many users. Well, there's always a chance of technical issues with any electric machine, and robots are no exception. They're super advanced, 
but that also means there's room for things to go wrong. When it comes to balancing, picking up small items, or moving precisely, robots still face a lot of challenges before they can match the skill and dexterity of humans. They can also be a safety concern. If they're not built properly or programmed correctly, they could malfunction and cause accidents, especially in places where humans are working nearby. Looking ahead, robots are set to change a lot more than just our personal lives. The robotics market is expected to reach around $169.8 billion by 2032. This growth will bring major changes to fields like healthcare, agriculture, logistics, and entertainment. In healthcare, robots will assist in surgeries and rehab, which will make procedures more accurate and help patients recover faster. In agriculture, robots and drones will handle tasks like planting and harvesting. Logistics will also benefit when robots will automate sorting and delivery systems. It will speed up supply chains and reduce overall costs. But let's be real, robots taking over jobs isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Since they are getting smarter and more independent, they also bring up some big ethical questions. If a robot messes up or causes harm, who's responsible for it? And what if the robot's decisions are biased or unfair? From Tesla to other giant robotics companies improving daily, we're likely to see even more industries getting a boost from these advancements. As robots become a bigger part of our lives, the big challenge will be making sure they're safe, affordable, and can work well with people. But overall, the future of robots looks promising. They truly have the potential to make things run more efficiently and change the way our world operates.